effect. Um, Simon. So hi, yeah. I um, represent Positive Money and we're an organisation, an NGO, yeah. uh, trying to uh, reform, get the, do research and campaigns to reform the money and banking system so it's fairer, more democratic and sustainable. And we actually um, polled um, a lot of our supporters, we represent uh, thousands of supporters across the country and over a thousand came back and they actually said that, uh, well 22 percent of them said that climate change is the most pressing issue for the Bank of England right now. 35% uh, said inequality, 19% said risk of a financial crash, 13% uh, high private debt, 9% high house prices, 1% inflation, et cetera, et cetera. Um, Shows so you what, <laughs> what a good job we're doing on inflation. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyway, the point is, um, I think a lot of people feel that the Bank of England isn't doing enough about climate change. Considering we've, you know, the IPCC tells us we've got, you know, 12 years um, to to sort things out, and and you talk about the disclosure, um, and it's been disappointing, I think, that the Bank of England, oh, sorry, the Bank, yeah. well, the Bank of England hasn't, uh, you know, put its money where its mouth is. Mm -hmm. It's done corporate QE, 10 billion pounds into financial markets, mainly buying up um, bonds from companies involved in finance and uh, in fossil fuels. And um, so y you talk about disclosure, in, but you're not doing it for your own risks. And you have, you're the most powerful institution in the financial sector. You, there are people pouring money into fossil fuels. I'm sorry, but... Uh, yeah, you can, know, can you just but, get to but, the uh, but question? Why, why aren't you doing everything okay. in your power to so, stop it? So one of the things here, Simon, I mean, and I appreciate your going out and, and polling and getting the feedback, and there are a few other issues on your list which hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll touch on. Um, in terms of climate policy, so, uh, and this, it's part of the way, and one of the issues you had there was uh, democratic, and it's part of how a democratic system works. Who is responsible for climate policy? Who's responsible for tax policy? Who's responsible for foreign policy um, in the United Kingdom? It's the, it's the government of the United Kingdom and uh, subject to, uh, uh, to, uh, to parliament. And so we have very specific responsibilities that are given to us by governments. And our responsibilities are uh, the thing that uh, um, your poll is least worried about, <laughs> monetary stability, inflation being low, stable, predictable, and the health of the financial system. So what we have said with respect to climate is that we can see a future risk, in some cases in insurance, for example, that it has present uh, implications, but for banks and others, it's a future risk that the system has to get ready for. And uh, I think it's fair to say that we have led amongst central banks in this thinking, uh, but certainly amongst the leaders, if not the leader, in thinking about how the system has to get ready for the risk. Now, the second thing is that, um, and we have catalyzed a lot of changes internationally. That $100 trillion figure is a significant, you know, that is more, that, that's 20% more than global GDP. Uh, again, to put a number around it, just in terms of the scale of interest in which companies are taking these risks seriously, which companies aren't, which have opportunities, which are part of the problem, which are part of the solution. That's what that means. Now, disclosure is disclosure about what your risks are, where your opportunities are, how much uh, greenhouse gases you emit, how much you plan to emit in the future, those types of issues. Disclosure is not... Um, making those decisions for companies, it's either you're there or uh, um, it's, it's providing the information for the market to then make a decision. With respect to, and last point, with respect to the purchases that the bank makes, if the bank ever makes purchases of securities, whether they're gilts, so government bonds issued um, by Her Majesty's government, or in the case that you referenced, corporate bonds, um, so issued by companies, we're, we are very conscious n to make those purchases in a way that doesn't distort the market. Uh, because if we distort the market, we are making, unelected officials are making a political decision. If somebody wants to change the tax system, if somebody wants to uh, accelerate uh, our climate policies, if somebody wants to build more schools or hospitals, or fewer for that matter, um, those decisions are taken by elected officials um, through Parliament. 
if somebody uh, is concerned about uh, keeping inflation low, stable, predictable, um, a financial system being secure, and adjusting uh, the future of the financial system in a way that's consistent with those, that responsibility is devolved in a very specific way to the Bank of England. We can affect those. And climate comes into that in the sense of what the future of the, of the system might be. I just sort of, do you mind if I add very quickly that, Mark, which is yeah. just to say, remember that that decision on um, that aspect of QE equally, I mean, that was by a committee of people, a monetary policy committee, that is directly accountable to Parliament. And that committee on which the governor and I sit and they thought, you know, considered that very carefully. And it was very clear that everyone on that committee, including the four external members, who have no business but to account to Parliament on these questions, that is their only reporting line, they're not, they don't work for the Bank of England, were very clear that it was very important that we should step back and buy what the market was, rather than skewing decisions this way and that. And that is their primary responsibility. It is, Can, hang on, it is monetary policy is their responsibility. Yeah. Their responsibility is to hear the inflation target, nothing else. And I think it's quite important uh, that people fulfill the responsibilities they're asked to fulfill and not other things, which is... Can I just...